You were my courage, my sword and shield Grace on the pressure, my ball of steel Everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, my name is Maya and I went on my Musical.ly back to when I started getting a lot more fans and a lot of you started to comment on my comment or on my videos and I went through and I wrote down some hate comments and I thought it would be fun to go through them and just kind of like talk about them I guess you could say. Now not all of them are hate comments, just some of them are funny like questions that I thought I would answer um, and all of that but there are also hate comments in here. Also on my social medias if you don't follow me on Instagram or Musical.ly I put up that um, for next Wednesday's video I'm going to do a get ready with me slash Q&A so I asked you guys to ask me some really good questions that you had it could be literally about anything so go comment on either my Instagram or my Musical.ly and ask me some really juicy questions um, they will be down in the description below if you don't know my Instagram or my Musical.ly they are always down there so yeah, let's get into reading these hate comments. That was weird. So, for the sake of not feeding into specific, like, for people to know whose comment I'm reading, I'm not going to put on their usernames because that's just feeding into attention. But I thought it was funny, some of these comments, so I'm just going to read them. But I'm not going to put their usernames, so Number yeah. one question that I do get asked on my Musical.ly all the time is how old I am and... I get it asked it non-stop like tw every single day I always get probably one person asking me how old I am and it's always in my bio on my profile page and it's so funny that people just won't go on there to look because I put it on there for a reason but yeah I get asked so many times how old are you how old are you how old are you I feel like I should just start putting my age in every single musically that I make you're so young well, I'm actually not that young like when people say young like I'm so young it makes me feel like they think that I'm like 12 or 13 which I'm 17 and I'm gonna be 18 a couple months after I have Grayson so I'm technically gonna be pretty much a full adult only like a couple months after I have him I'm only like a teen parent like teen mom with him here for like a couple of months so it it's really funny when people tell me that I'm so young like obviously I am young for having a kid like when you think about having kids you think about having them like in your 30s or your late 20s nope but I honestly think that it was a blessing that I was able to have Grayson right now because one people who wait a really long time into their like 30s and stuff to have kids they're not able to run around with them as much and they're always like so like they're slowing down with their life they're not like they don't have as much energy as they used to and all that kind of stuff so when Grayson is like five and five or six and he's running around and being like a little kid and stuff still I'm only going to be in my like 20s so I'll still have all of that energy now Alan on the other hand he'll be in his late 20s probably by that time but I think it's a blessing that I will be able to still run around with Grayson and have all the energy of a child when he is still young. Comment made me laugh because the grammar was so bad. It says awesome. They spelled awesome wrong by the way. They forgot an E. Awesome. Wait are you teen kid or adult? What? <laughs> You, you forgot to put are you a teen kid or adult so you just said are you teen kid like that makes bad grammar I don't know what a teen kid is because a teenager in my mind is 12 and up to like 12 to 17 an adult is 18 and older and a kid is 11 and below so I don't know how I can be a teenager and a child at the same time, but I'm a teen, almost an adult, so I'm gonna go with teen adult. Is that an answer that I can put? But yeah. 17, no offense, that's just rid ridiculous, but congrats. What? You're saying no offense, but then you're like, saying it's ridiculous and then telling me congrats like 
don't say no offense if you're gonna say something hateful. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, don't, like, and also don't say congrats if you're hating on it. Like, come on. That makes no sense to put both of those in the same, like, sentence. No offense, congrats, but that's ridiculous. It's disgusting. I didn't know raising a child and having it grow inside of you was disgusting. So that must mean that every parent or mom, even no matter what age they are, even if they're married and stuff, it's disgusting to raise a child and make a baby. I didn't know that. I thought that was a blessing. Did you want to get pregnant young? Yeah, I told Ayla that I wanted to get pregnant. Like, we just sat down one day and said, well, let's have a baby now. I think it's a great time. Neither of us have a job. We're both living with people. I think it's a great time to have a baby. Let, let's let's get into bed right now and start. So let's, let's try for this baby. I didn't want a baby this young, but I'm having one. Next question, I don't ever like understand why people ask this because even if you get an answer, it's not like you're going to know the person. And everybody asks me, who's the dad? Who's the baby's father? Like, who got you pregnant? I could say some random person's name and you're not going to be like, oh yeah, I know that guy. The father of my kid is my boyfriend, aka Alan. If you follow me on Insta, or yeah, if you follow me on Musical.ly, you know that I talk about him all the time. But still, I don't understand why people comment asking who the father is. It's not like you're going to know the person right off the top of your head. Like, oh yeah, I know them. The only way you would know me and Alan is if you know us personally and you've known us for like years. So I don't really understand why people comment that. It's gonna rain. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. It's so... The sky is so great. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for it to start pouring. This question is so funny to me. I can tell that like an eight-year-old commented this. Let me just say. The thing was, it says, how did you find out you were pregnant? What? This is why I think like an eight-year-old commented it because you either find out you're pregnant from a pregnancy test or you're going to the doctors and they tell you that you're pregnant. And even sometimes it's more likely doctors telling you 100% if you are pregnant or not because sometimes pregnancy tests can be wrong. So, 9 times out of 10, you will find out for sure from your doctors. It's just funny that somebody would comment, how do you find out you're pregnant? Why do you wear the same clothes every day? I don't wear the same clothes every day. I got this on one of my older videos and it was because I had a sweatshirt on that I wore like the day before and it was a brand new sweatshirt that I had just gotten and I was loving it and I was wearing it since it was still cold out and like pretty much it snowed on and off and it was super cold here still. Sorry if you hear like really weird noises in the background. I live by a school and there's buses going by and stuff by the way. But anyways, I wore the sweatshirt like three days in a row because it was cold out and obviously um you don't wash sweatshirts every time that you wear them at least I don't because I'm literally wearing them outside when it's cold so I didn't know that wearing a sweatshirt to stay warm was wearing the same clothes every day like that boggles my mind um <laughs> this question also makes me laugh it says are you Gaia happy together. I'm guessing you met guys whoever commented this, but they put an A instead of an S, which I do that sometimes. So, so I'm guessing they're asking, are me and Alan happy together? And I just want to say, if me and Alan weren't happy together, we wouldn't be together. We would have broken up. Like, we wouldn't stay with each other. We'd probably be friends like we wouldn't put ourselves and force ourselves to be with each other just because of Grayson we'd obviously figure things out as friends and work with co-parenting and stuff like that just as friends we wouldn't just put ourselves through that just because we're having a kid together obviously me and Ellen do love each other and we are very happy together that's why we've been together for almost a year now and 
he's stuck with me and he's told me that I'm stuck with him so I'm pretty sure that we're happy together Do you have a baby no I don't have a baby yet I'm having a baby but I don't have a baby yet she looks dead what of course I'm gonna look dead and tired I'm constantly not getting any sleep because I'm having a child kick me 24-7 like until you are pregnant do not comment on a pregnant woman's video or photo saying that she looks so tired or she looks so bad and dead because until you go through nine months of carrying a child you don't know what it's like to go to bed at different times every night waking up constantly to go pee or just constantly waking up because you're being kicked not being able to be comfortable and having pains and aches and everything like it is so bad so until you go through that you don't know what dead like feeling like you have no energy and looking dead really is like I thought I thought I knew what it was like to be tired before but now holy cow I just found a whole new all new thank you for pointing out the obvious that I was tired because I am I'm exhausted and it's just gonna get worse when my son comes oh, son you look so old sorry you look so young not old <laughs> I read that wrong no I don't have a son yet I will be having a son in a couple of months and I'm not that young I'm 17 but I guess that is pretty young for having a baby. But I've worked my butt off just like any other mom who's in their 30s would. I've worked so hard to make sure that I can get everything for my son. I've planned so much for my son and I've made sure my son has stayed healthy up until this point. So I think I'm doing a pretty damn good job for being 17 and about to be a teen mom. This question boggles my mind. The question is, does your mom know? Yes, obviously my parents know that I'm pregnant. Like, there is no possible way. If you still live with your parents and you are pregnant and you know you're pregnant, there is absolutely no p possible way that you are gonna be able to hide that you're pregnant up until the point that you give birth because one, your parents are gonna notice that you look more tired and like more exhausted. And they're also gonna notice that you're eating more, going pee more. They're also gonna notice that your stomach is growing. Like there's no possible way to hide it until you give birth and plus they're gonna know when you give birth now obviously if you're moved out and all that then obviously your parents aren't gonna really notice that because you're not with them 24 7 but if you do live with them like I do they're gonna notice sooner or later there's only so long you can hide being pregnant for until you start to show and you start to have signs that you are pregnant and people around you are going to know so Yes, my mom knows, and she's known since the beginning that I was pregnant. I don't know if this is like a hate comment, or if they're being sarcastic, or if they're generally just being, I don't know. It says, pregnant at 17, but it's okay. I don't know if that was being sarcastic, or if they were just generally saying it's okay to be pregnant at 17, but okay. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. I think this is a funny one because I talk about Alan and like he's in my music class all the time. And I have like on my bio again, I have his name as Undertaken. I just think it's funny that people, ooh, I'm kicking my tripod now. I just think it's funny that people don't like read comments and stuff, like the bios and stuff before asking questions. Because the bio's there for a reason. I use it for a reason. <laughs> this question is really funny because on the video that it was um, commented on, it was a video of me at my doctor's appointment having Grayson's heartbeat. It was his heartbeat being taken, like, so we heard it. So I recorded it and I posted it and I said, it's my little man, my little man's heartbeat. So somebody commented, is your mom having a baby, comma, girl, comma, boy? I literally just said my little man's heartbeat. Not my mom's little man's heartbeat or my baby brother's heartbeat. My 
little man's heartbeat like no my mom's not having a baby it's me why would I post my mom's son if my mom was having a boy why would I post his heartbeat like she would do that on her own social media if she wanted to that's not something I would do and how my camera was positioned I don't know how I would be recording that I don't know why are you pregnant at so young and they spelled so with two O's and they spelled pregnant P-R-E-G-N-E-T pregnant I wanted to get pregnant so that I could become famous and so that I could screw my family over and just ruin my life no I did not become pregnant because I wanted to it was an accident I did not sleep with Alan to try to have a baby we were using protection when we were having sex that's what so many people don't understand is that teen parents a lot of the time um, teen parents are using protection I know people who have been on like birth control and were using condoms and all of that kind of stuff and they still got pregnant like no matter what you do you can still get pregnant and of course if you're a teenager you're gonna end up having sex unless you're like a very 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 good teenager but a lot of the time I don't think I know a single good teenager so far who has not had sex throughout their entire teenage years like I'm a teenager that's gonna happen and your parents can't always just be around you 24 7 to try to stop you like you're going to find a way to have sex whether your parents know about it or not and even if you are using protection there's always a chance that you're going to get pregnant so no I did not mean to get pregnant at a young age and the question was why do why did I get pregnant at a young age because it was an accident things happen and clearly God wanted this to happen so I'm gonna go through on what he decided to have my life's path be on my life just happened to take a turn and things started to happen sooner than what I thought I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys all in the next also, video don't forget to either comment down below or go on to my other two social medias Instagram and musically and ask me some questions for Wednesday's video and yeah bye guys